Welcome to Home Pro Nation. It's Lamba, Lamba's Border Sports Center by Sideline Sports Network. Today I'll be talking about some college football because, like I said, we are exactly 58 days away from the first game as, you know, a Texas Longhorns first game, which is May, uh, September the 2nd versus Rice. Now, I have a lot of questions and a lot of concerns for Texas Longhorns. Uh, we are in the third year of Steve Sarkeesian's uh, tenure with the Texas Longhorns in college football. And I just, I, I, I think I just have questions. Now, what do I think of the Texas Longhorns? Now, the Texas Longhorns are very good and very competitive, a competitive team. I think they're aggressive. They are a pass, like I said, they're a pass-happy offense. They can run the ball as well. But if sh- this team has shown a ton of potential, especially through its first two seasons. Um, like I said, when it comes to winning at the level of Texas, it needs to be high. But Steve Sarkeesian has not done it yet. The bar for success for Texas is to win 10 plus 10 win seasons. That hasn't been done since Tom Herman was the head coach. Um, you know, but he also, Steve Sarkeesian, has also displayed glimpses of what he could do in a short time with the Texans. He's completed a historic, a historic amount of good football as well, um, individual game performances, and he's hit a few landmarks. Um, also, Here's a good. Here's some good highlights. He's averaged almost 49 points a game against Oklahoma. Remember that game last year where he tore them up, where the Texas Longhorns tore up Oklahoma, especially in Brent Venables' first year as the head coach as well. It was insane. Brent Venables is a defensive-minded coach, but it was insane that you know his team scored 48 points in 2021 against Oklahoma, and last year scored 49. Um. Former head coach Mac Brown has never been able to put up 45 points against the Sooners in 16 games. It's a different era of football as well, so we're going to see how that goes. Also, here's the thing for Texas Longhorns. They are recruiting on another level, which means I believe that the Texas Longhorns can get up to 10 wins. Now, I don't know if we get up to 10. I think for some reason this year, as my prediction for the Texas Longhorns, they're going to win eight games because they're going to lose the teams they're supposed to beat and I think that they're going to end up losing to Kansas. Kansas is going to be a good team to watch. But also, Texas is in the running for a third straight top five recruiting class. While the program has recruited at a high level, uh, they recruited Arch Manning um, as well. So is he going to be the star this year? I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe not. They recruited at a high level that would be an entirely different market for the team. The team isn't simply getting top five classes by acquiring high volume of four stars like it did in the past. The Longhorns are also recruiting an important position as well. They have a, they have a dominated quarterback and Quinn Edwards. They have Arch Manning that I mentioned earlier. They have a running back, a wide receiver, and an offensive line recruiter. They have a quarter a cornerback and the edge rushers appear to be trending towards a similar level of dominance as well. When the Texas Longhorns also hired Steve Sarkeesian as well, the expectation was to get them to 10 wins and competing for a conference championship. We didn't expect that to happen. We didn't expect all American left tackles, linebackers, tight ends, and wide receivers. It's accepts is the expectation now in Steve Sarkeesian's third year because what they did with Charlie Strong when he was the head coach as well, they let him go after two, three years. Tom Herman was ultimately fired. I don't know why they fired him. I think they were pretty decent. But Texas has a lot of high expectations. You have the players, you have Kelvin Banks, you have Jalon Four, you have Javon Sanders, and Xavier Worthy, the wide receivers, and you have A.D. Mitchell, and you have Isaiah Nenor on that upside. So they should be better as well as far as a whole group. We know the offense is good. My question is the defense. How good is the defense? But also, if you really pay attention to watch football and you really watch the coaches like I do, if you haven't noticed, Steve Sarkis can get whatever quarterback or running back he wants. Quarterbacks coach A.J. Milley and running backs coach Tassar Choice have played a huge role in a long force recruiting dominance. They have offensive line coach Kyle Flood is entering that territory. I'm telling you, Texas is getting top five classes, not just by the high quantity of four stars, but also Sarkeesian is getting certified dudes on a recruiting trail as well. Now, the problem is with Texas, they need to build a complete roster, a complete roster. Like I said, they've been through head coaches Tom Herman. Before Herman, Charlie Strong, at the end of his tenure, Mac Brown could not put together a complete roster as well, even though Mac Brown has been with Texas for about 20 past seasons. 
I'm going to challenge the Texas critics to find a glaring hole in the roster. They also added safety Jalen Jalen Carton to be the third best total defense in the Big 12 from last year. Now the offensive line is going to improve, but Texas is going to be a very, very sleeper team this year. So we'll see if Sarkeesian can put all the critics behind him. We'll see if the Texas Longhorns are going to be somewhat consistent, inconsistent with the quarterback play, the running game. We'll see how this goes. The expectations that I have for the Texas Longhorns is that they will be about 9-4, 8-5. We're going to see how that goes. But I'm going to tell you, the, the, the first two games against Rice won't be easy. But you watch out for the second game of the year on September 9th where they play the University of Alabama, which last year was a very, very good game that Texas gave away at the end. So that's going to be a very, very, very competitive game. But I think the expectations are high for Steve Sarkeesian. And if he has a somewhat mediocre season, I think he's going to get fired. So thank you, Total Pony Nation. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is Lambo's Water Sports Center by Sideline Sports Network. We will be tuning in later on. And don't forget to check out Lambo's Water Sports recent videos as well because we are building and getting better with content each and every day. This is Total Pony Nation. Happy 4th. See you later.